Goodbye Stroke Danger. Eight early warning signs a stroke could strike within the next month, and nine prevention tips. I want to talk to you about something that could save your life or the life of someone you love. Many people think a stroke happens suddenly. One moment you feel fine, the next, disaster strikes. But here's the truth. In many cases, your body warns you, sometimes days or even a whole month before. The problem? Most of us don't recognize those warnings. Or worse, we brush them off as just getting older. I don't want that to happen to you. Today, I'll share with you eight subtle but powerful warning signs that may appear before a stroke. You'll learn what they feel like and why you must act fast. Then, I'll give you nine simple science-backed tips you can start today to lower your stroke risk dramatically. Now, there are two major types of stroke. One is ischemic, where a blood vessel is blocked. That's about 80 to 85% of cases. The other is hemorrhagic where a vessel bursts and bleeds into the brain, about 15%. Both can be devastating. But both can often be prevented if you know what to look for. Let's begin with the first, and perhaps the most silent, warning sign, elevated blood pressure. High blood pressure is often called the silent killer, and for good reason. You may feel perfectly fine, yet inside your arteries, silent damage is unfolding. When your blood pressure stays high over time, it weakens and scars the walls of your blood vessels. This makes it easier for fatty plaques to build up. The vessels become narrower, stiffer, more fragile. Now imagine what happens when that fragile vessel is in your brain. A clot can get stuck, causing an ischemic stroke. Or the pressure can cause the vessel to burst, leading to a hemorrhagic stroke. I can't tell you how many patients have told me, Oh, but I feel great. I don't have headaches or dizziness. My pressure must be normal. Please, don't fall into that trap. High blood pressure often gives no warning until it causes catastrophe. If you haven't checked your blood pressure recently, do it this week. And if it's high, work with your doctor to bring it down. It could save your life. Now, let's talk about a warning sign that's easy to dismiss. An unusual headache. Not all headaches are cause for alarm. But if you notice a headache that's new, different, or unusually intense, don't ignore it. Some strokes are preceded by temporary blockages in the brain's blood flow, what we call a transient ischemic attack, or TIA. These mini-strokes can cause blood vessels to constrict or become irritated, triggering a headache. It may come on suddenly, or it might build gradually over a few hours or days. Some describe it as a dull ache, others as sharp or throbbing. If this headache is paired with other strange symptoms, vision changes, weakness, confusion, that's a red flag. Even if the headache goes away, your body may be sending an urgent message, trouble is coming. Don't wait it out, call for medical help. Acting early can prevent a full-blown stroke. Another critical sign to watch for is numbness on one side of the body. Your brain controls movement and sensation through a beautifully complex network of neurons. When blood flow to a specific region is interrupted, that part of the brain and the body parts it controls can't function properly. That's why stroke symptoms often appear on one side. You might feel numbness, a pins and needles sensation, or complete loss of feeling in your face, arm, or leg, typically on just one side. Some people notice weakness instead, struggling to grip objects or lift a limb. Even if this sensation passes within minutes or hours, take it seriously. It may be a warning stroke, what we call a TIA, signaling that a larger, more dangerous stroke could be imminent. I've seen too many people ignore this, thinking, oh, maybe I just slept wrong, or it'll pass. But remember, Every moment matters when your brain is starved of oxygen. If you or someone you love experiences sudden numbness or weakness, especially on one side, seek emergency care immediately. Don't wait. Now let's look at a symptom that can be deeply unsettling. Difficulty speaking or understanding language. Imagine this. You try to speak, but the words won't come out right, 
or you hear someone talking to you, but their words sound jumbled or confusing. When a stroke affects the areas of the brain responsible for language, typically in the left hemisphere, as Maris, this is exactly what can happen. You may notice slurred speech, speaking nonsense words, inability to form sentences, difficulty understanding others. And here's the key. This change usually comes on suddenly. Sometimes the person isn't even aware they're speaking strangely, but others will notice. If you see this happen, act immediately. Call emergency services. Don't try to wait and see. Remember this simple truth. Time is brain. The faster you get help, the more brain tissue can be saved. Next, let's talk about a symptom that is often mistaken for something harmless. Balance disorder. Picture this. You suddenly feel off balance, unsteady on your feet, as if you've had a few drinks, even though you haven't touched a drop of alcohol. That's a warning sign that something could be seriously wrong in the brain. Your balance is controlled by a delicate system involving your inner ear, brainstem, and cerebellum, all of which rely on healthy blood flow. When a stroke threatens these areas, you might experience sudden dizziness or vertigo, trouble walking a straight line, a sensation that the room is spinning, falling without explanation. This isn't the same as feeling lightheaded from standing up too fast. It's deeper, more alarming, and often accompanied by other stroke symptoms. If you or a loved one experiences a sudden loss of balance, don't chalk it up to fatigue or age. It's a medical emergency. Call for help right away. Now, here's one that surprises many people. Excessive fatigue. Of course, we all feel tired sometimes, especially as we get older. But I'm talking about a kind of fatigue that feels different, deeper, as if your body is running through quicksand. Before a stroke, your brain may be struggling with reduced blood flow. This can sap your energy dramatically, even before more obvious symptoms appear. You might notice an overwhelming need to rest, feeling weak for no clear reason, trouble staying awake during the day, a sudden drop in stamina for normal activities. Many patients later tell me, I was just so tired that week, I thought it was nothing. But your body knows when something is wrong. If you experience unexplained, excessive fatigue, especially alongside other symptoms we've discussed, listen to your body. Seek medical attention. Early action can prevent tragedy. Another early warning sign that's easy to miss is changes in motor coordination. Your motor skills, like using your hands, walking smoothly, or even writing, rely on precise communication between your brain and muscles. When blood flow to certain areas of the brain is disrupted, that coordination can begin to falter. You might notice, struggling to button a shirt, difficulty holding a fork or gripping a pen, slight but noticeable clumsiness, trouble performing tasks you usually do without thinking. These signs may feel minor at first, a little frustration perhaps, but they can be an early indicator that your brain is under stress. Even if you chalk it up to just being tired or getting older, don't ignore it, especially if it happens suddenly or alongside other warning signs. Stroke can start subtly, but its damage escalates fast. If you or someone you love notices new clumsiness or difficulty with fine motor tasks, get checked immediately. Now let's discuss one more subtle, but extremely important, sign. Visual changes. Your eyes are often the first to reveal that something is wrong in your brain. That's because they rely on a constant supply of oxygen-rich blood through delicate vessels. When that blood flow is compromised, you might suddenly experience blurred vision, double vision, loss of vision in one or both eyes, seeing shadows, or feeling as though a curtain has fallen over your field of view. I've had patients describe it as though someone flipped a switch. One moment they saw clearly, the next their vision changed dramatically. Don't dismiss this as tired eyes or a need for new glasses. Sudden visual changes, especially when combined with any of the other warning signs we've discussed, can signal an impending stroke. Time is of the essence. If your vision suddenly changes,
call emergency services right away. Now that you know the warning signs to watch for, let's shift to something even more empowering, prevention. Yes, stroke is serious. But the truth is, many strokes can be prevented through small, consistent changes. Let's begin with one of the simplest, yet most powerful, steps. Reduce your salt and sodium intake. Too much sodium stiffens and narrows your blood vessels, raising blood pressure, one of the biggest stroke risks. In fact, cutting back on sodium can lower your stroke risk by up to 40%. Aim for no more than 5 grams of salt a day, that's about 2 grams of sodium. Cook more at home. Limit processed and packaged foods. They hide enormous amounts of salt. It's a small change that can protect your brain. Next, let's talk about another key player. Blood sugar control. When blood sugar runs high, whether from diabetes or poor diet, it damages the delicate lining of your blood vessels. Over time, this makes them more prone to plaque buildup and rupture, both of which raise your stroke risk dramatically. That's why people with uncontrolled diabetes face a much higher stroke risk. But here's the good news. Managing your blood sugar helps safeguard your brain. Focus on A diet rich in whole foods and low in added sugars. Regular physical activity. Working closely with your doctor if medication is needed. Every step you take towards stable blood sugar protects your heart and your brain. Now here's a habit that causes tremendous harm. Smoking. Smoking damages your blood vessels in multiple ways. It makes the walls stiff and brittle. It promotes plaque buildup. And worst of all, it encourages blood clots to form. That's why smokers face double the risk of stroke compared to non-smokers. And no form of smoking is safe. Cigarettes, cigars, pipes, even so-called light versions, all contribute to vascular damage. But the moment you quit, your body begins to heal. Within weeks, circulation improves. Within months to years, your stroke risk drops closer to that of a non-smoker. If you smoke, please, for your heart, your brain, and your future, take the step to quit. Help is available, and it's worth it. Let's talk about managing cholesterol, another vital piece of the puzzle. Cholesterol isn't all bad. You've got two main types. LDL, the bad cholesterol which can build up as plaque inside your arteries, narrowing them and increasing stroke risk. And HDL, the good cholesterol, which helps clear those plaques away. Keeping your LDL low and HDL high is crucial. You also want to keep triglycerides, another type of blood fat, under 150 mg per deciliter. Your doctor will help determine the right LDL target for you based on your personal health. You can improve cholesterol through a heart-healthy diet rich in fiber and healthy fats like those found in fish, nuts, and olive oil. Regular exercise. Medication if prescribed. Balancing cholesterol protects your vessels from damage and lowers stroke risk. Next up is a simple yet powerful habit. Regular exercise. Moving your body for at least 150 minutes per week that's about 30 minutes most days, can make a huge difference. Exercise boosts circulation, helping oxygen and nutrients reach your brain. It lowers blood pressure and improves how your body handles sugar and fats. Even gentle activities like walking, swimming, or gardening count. You don't have to run marathons. Consistency is what matters. Better circulation and a healthier heart mean a lower risk of stroke. Remember, it's never too late to start moving more, no matter your age or fitness level. Now, let's talk about weight control, a crucial factor in stroke prevention. Excess body fat increases inflammation throughout your body, which harms blood vessels and raises stroke risk. Even a modest weight loss, just 5-10% to of your body weight, can bring meaningful health benefits. The key is creating sustainable habits, balanced meals, portion control, and regular physical activity. Avoid crash diets or quick fixes, which often backfire. By maintaining a healthy weight, you reduce the strain on your heart and brain, giving yourself a better chance at long-term vitality. Sleep, often overlooked, but so important. Poor sleep quality and conditions like sleep apnea 
can seriously increase your risk of stroke. When sleep is disrupted, your blood pressure and blood sugar tend to worsen. Sleep apnea, where breathing briefly stops during sleep, causes repeated drops in oxygen that strain your heart and blood vessels. Do you snore loudly or wake up gasping for air? If so, it's vital to get evaluated. Treatment can dramatically improve your sleep and lower stroke risk. A good night's sleep is a powerful medicine, helping your body repair, regulate, and stay healthy. Let's focus now on monitoring blood pressure at home. A step many people overlook but one that can save lives. Blood pressure can vary throughout the day and even spike at the doctor's office, what we call white coat hypertension. Sometimes it's normal there but high at home, or the opposite, called masked hypertension. By taking regular readings at home, you get a clearer picture of your true blood pressure. The goal is around 120 over 80 millimeters of mercury, but your doctor will personalize targets based on your health. Keep a simple log of your readings and share it with your doctor regularly. This way, treatment can be adjusted early to protect your brain and heart. It's a simple habit that can make a huge difference. Finally, we come to checking for heart arrhythmias, especially atrial fibrillation, or AFib. AFib is an irregular heartbeat that causes blood to pool in the heart, increasing the risk of clots forming. If a clot travels to the brain, it can cause a stroke. Many people don't realize they have AFib because it can be intermittent or cause subtle symptoms like palpitations, dizziness, or fatigue. Doctors can diagnose AFib using an ECG or a portable Holter monitor, which tracks your heart rhythm over days. If detected, treatment like blood thinners can dramatically lower stroke risk. This simple check can be life-saving, especially if you're over 50 or have other risk factors. Taking charge of your heart rhythm could be the key to preventing a stroke. Stroke is one of the most serious health threats we face, especially as we age. But here's the good news. It's also one of the most preventable. By paying close attention to these warning signs, whether it's a sudden headache that feels different, numbness on one side, or changes in your speech, you can act early, possibly saving your life and preserving your independence. And beyond watching for symptoms, adopting even a few of these nine prevention tips can dramatically lower your risk. Small changes, like cutting back on salt, quitting smoking, getting moving, or monitoring your blood pressure at home, add up over time. Remember, your health is your most valuable asset. You deserve to live longer, stronger, and more fully. If this helped, like, subscribe, and share it with someone you love. Thank you for trusting me with your health. Stay well, and take good care of yourself.